Alright, so welcome back to my channel guys, and today we are shooting a video about St. George's and the MMI interview. Well, I sat the St. George's interview in December of 2019, received an offer a few weeks later in 2019, so I'm here just to talk to you guys about how I found it, what I think you should, guys should do in preparation, and anything else. So I'm going to keep it to literally a few minutes so that you guys watch this video and get on with the rest of your day. Very quickly, if you guys could just take five seconds out of your day to just hit the subscribe button down below, I'm known. I know I've been asking a lot in the recent videos, but we are very close to 100 subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if you guys could just smash that subscribe button down below and like the video as well at the end if you if you feel like it so st george's what do i say well it was a pretty standard interview mmi stations were role play ethics personal statement nhs science station was there but i would say to prepare for a bog standard interview and that would be my first tip really don't worry about any sort of out of the box stations anything weird coming up there won't be anything it'll be pretty st standard pretty normal and i would say don't worry about it it's a very normal mmi Prepare for it. The thing is with St. George's, they don't like to make it obvious. They're not gonna pick up on something you've written on your personal statement because they know that you left prepared. What they did to me was they gave me a question um, about something I read in the news recently, which I knew was gonna come up at some point, but they then twisted it. So instead of asking me more about the article itself, they asked me about the scientific term that I used in my answer. So I said that I read something about CRISPR and bacteria and putting it into plants, genomically edit plants or bacteria to photosynthesize more effectively. They then asked me, what's CRISPR? And we had a station just about CRISPR. So in the same vein, St. George's can well and truly just ask you a completely random question and then turn it into a science station. So what I'm saying is anything you bring up in the St. George's interview, make sure you have done research on it beforehand, you know the science. So now when you're revising, think about the answers you've planned, anything material you've prepared. If there are any biological terms in it, go and do some research on it because it's so important they could ask you. And if you don't know it, that's one station gone out the window. And what I mean by that is the procedures in the NHS, like safeguarding, so adult safeguarding, child safeguarding, data protection. I know this all sounds really like office style things to learn, very sort of audit administration things, but they're important as a doctor, you will come across them. And they did actually ask me about safeguarding one, which to be fair, isn't really an administration thing. It is very much part of being a medical doctor. But in the same way, I would highly recommend you learn a lot about safeguarding because in the interview, when they ask you, they will turn it into an ethics station. And when they do that, they will talk to you a lot about how to raise concerns that a child is being abused or that a adult hasn't got access to the right services for a particular condition, how to raise concerns, who to raise. And if you know a lot about it, easy marks in the station, you can breeze through it. So I would highly recommend doing that. The next thing I would say for St. George's is to be aware that it is in a hospital. You do need to know the whereabouts of the interview. For me, be aware that St. George's is a teaching hospital. It is in a hospital, so they might ask you a lot of questions about hospital life, the stress in a hospital, because, you know, St. George's is part of that little London hospital. So you're pretty much going to be going straight into hospital after your six years into St. George's Hospital. A lot of your lessons will be done in hospital rooms, hospital teaching rooms. So they will ask you a lot about hospital life and they'll expect you to know a lot if you want to come to St. George's, obviously. So please do learn a lot about the hospitals, how they work and um, the different jobs in the hospital. So GP are in primary care, obviously, but you've got your consultants, you've got your nurses, your physiotherapists, everyone in that little sort of bubble of hospital workers, hospital healthcare workers. So literally anyone there, it could be a healthcare assistant as well. So please do remember that and yeah i can't really say much more with the st george's interview it's very bog standard very simple to understand to get through i was happy with how it went i hope you guys will be as well because it wasn't a tricky interview as such it was a pretty nice interview i think and hopefully you guys found this video useful hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have drop the like down below and also hit the subscribe button we are very close to the subscribers so it would be super cool if we could hit that and it would make me very happy it would put a smile on my face as well as enabling me to put out more content for you guys such as the video today if you've got any questions about the interview drop them in the comments below i'll be very happy to get back to you quickly and yeah i will see you in i will see you in the next video